All right, good afternoon. We're gonna change out the PCV valve for a 2012 Subaru Impreza. All we're gonna need is a 19 millimeter socket, some Permatex Ultra Gray. It'll be nice to have a magnet. So let's get started. Um, this hose right here, that leads to the, let me go around so we can get a better look. Uh, not much of a better look over here. So let me try to get on top of it here. All right, there. Um, that is the PCV valve. So first things first is remove this and it's probably gonna, oh, that one came out easy. The one on the bottom, I've changed it a couple times, but basically you have to twist and turn and eventually it'll come off. There are no clamps. So next, 19 millimeter. All right, there it is down there. Hopefully you can see it. All right. Until it gets nice and loose. This is where a magnet comes in, and here it comes. All right, now, here's the old one. I don't know if you can hear it. And let's compare that to the new one. I hope you hear the difference. Um, this probably just needs, you know, you can spray it and all kinds of stuff to it, but I just, why not get a new one? All right, um, let's put this one back in. All right, according to the service bulletin that I found on the internet, uh, it says Impreza, the new sealer is three bond, three bond one, uh, 1217H, right? Or they have a part number. But from what I looked at, I uh, read on the forums, the ultra gray seems to be just as good also doing differential but that's a different one and um, the torque is 17 foot-pounds all right but we're gonna hand tighten first now I did read on a service bulletin that this is the original that this could break and uh, and lock up the threads <laughs> so I would suggest changing it as soon as possible um, in the service bulletin it said use um, thread thread lock um, 1305 or something like that I can't remember um, but this is the equivalent all right so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bead around the bottom Okay, now we're gonna put it back in. Finger tight, they say, and now here's the funny part, right? For best results, uh, apply two to six millimeters, a bead, surround all the bolt, let dry for one hour, and then tighten the torque specifications. Allow 24 hours to fully cure before filling with fluids. There's no fluids, but you have to wait one hour. So we're gonna put it in, Wait one hour and then torque it down. And I'm going to get the torque specs. All right. That's hand tightened. Now we wait one hour. And we're going to put 17 foot-pounds on it. Like that, daylight savings. You got to love it. All right. So an hour has passed. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's around 6 o'clock, I guess. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm turning it. So you can see it. Get on camera. All right. Oh, 18. 13. Oh, yeah. So it's not a lot. All right. 
Now, plug this in, all right? And it just goes over nice and tight. And then this one in here. All right, there you go. So, uh, I hope that helped. Uh, please let me know in the comments if it helped. It should uh, get better gas mileage, burn less oil. So if you found that helpful, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Have a great rest of your night.